All right, so here's what here's what you're gonna see in this video. Uh, you're gonna see a, uh, a a couple of tours. You're gonna see a tour of the Rupes facility, uh, and just to bring you up to speed, I've been here at I was at SEMA Monday. Today is Monday. This is Monday morning, so I've been gone for from home for seven days, which is a, a big deal for anybody with kids or a wife or a family. So I've been gone for seven days. Uh, so uh, I was invited to come to the the Rupes Grand Opening, which is one of those things that, like, it's, as soon as I got the invite, I get this sort of twinge of wanting to go back to the old me, which is just I just want to I don't want to do something like that. I know it's going to be mingling. I know that people are going to think, you know, what's this? At least this is what I'm making up. You know, what's this YouTube? For the for the, the five people that know who the heck I am out of this event. Um, the, 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 you know, they're going to think, you know, what's this YouTube goof doing here? And, and, and so I start, that stuff and immediately goes into my head. I had the same reaction when I got the Jay Leno invite, but I just, there's, there's something just keeps happening that whenever I put myself out there and when I share and be real and connect that the things that the world, just, this is crazy. The whole world just opens up. And so I'm, I'm sitting here reflecting on what just happened last night. Uh, another one of those magical things happened, just just like getting to ride shotgun with, with Jay Leno, you know, connecting with with um, with Jeremy and Chris from from Jay Leno, and uh, that are that are you know they're doing they're struggling just like we're all struggling building a business, building a life, finding that balance. And and that's been the, the general theme of of whenever I'm around people, it's just. It feels like there's permission given to to just do you and be real. And so last night uh, we well, I went to, so what you're going to see in this video is the tour last night of the Rupes facility and the awesome wash bay and, and the cool training center and the, the Kaiser uh, compressor. They have a 60 horsepower massive, you know, full room Kaiser compressor that powers this whole f massive facility. It's 40 year, 45,000 square foot facility. Uh, and and then you'll see a tour of Adams, and and after the tour, after the Rupes event, uh, s several of us went to dinner. It was me, Adam, Adam who owns Adams Polishes, Phil Yu from Detailers to who, who owns Detailers Domain, uh, Jeremy from Shine Supply, Levi from the Rag Company, Zach and Dan from Esoteric, and we just sat around a table. And just talked and just opened up, talked about life, just talked about struggles, talked about uh, talked about positives, negatives, you know, wins and losses as a group of what I guess could be viewed as you know, competitors sitting around a table. Uh, but man, the, the the magic of of what keeps happening as I put myself out there is just insane. Um, meeting uh, Jason Kilmer and 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 uh, Profession X Andy Ward. Uh, meeting these these you know the professional high-end detailers that want to help contribute to uh, like a guy like me who's I look at myself as a DIY guy and then the the, the people that like you that are watching this that are also uh, do it yourself but on a professional level and so professional grade do it yourselfers. Uh, a lot of people want to be able to, to, to help with that and, and show us more techniques, techniques that they've learned by producing and doing a lot more stuff. But, you know, you're going to see in this video, uh, you're going to see Adam open up and share uh, his company, this this great company that lots in the detailing world admire and share the, you know, him living in his in his warehouse and share you know what it takes to, to to build something and then also be willing to share hey this is chaos you know we're growing so fast we don't even know how to control it or manage it and being okay with i asked him i said are you sure i can put this in a video he said yeah why not this is life this is this is real this is business this is the way it goes um you know some people are more organized and maybe have less sales some people are less organized have more sales or some people are organized and have tons of sales uh, but it's all about you know it's about passion for the product product passion for whatever it is you're, you're doing and that's the general theme of sharing my passion which then connects me to other people that are passionate and then we all give each other permission to be real and to share and to connect and so that's what you're going to see uh, as I says I'm, I'm, I'm you're seeing the result of, of that of being able to put yourself out there 
giving up your hang-ups, giving up the fears that, man, I don't really belong at this Rupes grand opening. You know, just a goof in my garage. You know, making making videos by accident. You know, and and you know, and, and and if I don't do that, I don't get to really meet. I don't get to meet Adam. I don't get to spend time with Larry Casilla talking about life and business. The day, you know, the day before, we spent you know, two hours at dinner just talking through life. And and man, th this whole thing has just been awesome. So, stay. You know, stick around for this video. Watch the the Adam's tour. Listen to what he's saying. Uh, and and you get to see you know you get to look worst case scenario if you're an Adams fan or if you're an Adams hater uh, you get to look and you get to sit and you get to see you know what it's you know what what a, a company like his is all about you get to see the success of you know Rupa as this Italian company that now is being able to contribute and 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 give guys like Dylan von Kleist and 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 Todd Helm and, and these guys that, that that now and Jason Rose that get to get to now build the presence in the U.S. at the, in the U.S. headquarters and just all the cool stuff that's happening in this world of just washing cars. It's really cool. So anyway, watch the video and uh, as, as always, you know, stay tuned for more crazy. I'm going to keep putting my crazy out there and uh, and hopefully hopefully people keep responding to it. Thanks for watching. So Matt, the Rufus Grand Opening. We got Kayser. I'll show you the wash bay, but Dylan's gonna take us on a tour. Here's the entry area. So, conference room, which overlooks the academy, which is a cool perspective because yeah. there's a party. Yeah. Come on in. There's Dylan on screen. Uh -huh. yeah. I know that guy. He states it just right. I wanted to put myself on the biggest screen. Is that off. screen just for the event? Or yeah, is that, just okay. for the event. I was gonna yeah, say, that's no. gonna be monster little, training videos. A little overkill for the training videos. <laughs> It's going to take a while to get all the equipment, all the stuff, all the computers, all everything set up. So we're not going to rush. I'd rather do a real tour. I'm sure the employees can come up and have some quiet space all the time. Essentially, the desks will be double down here. So they're a little bit more for workstation. And then, uh, this is the break room named after me. Yes, or it's actually a copy room named after you. Oh, copy room? That's where the copy machine will be. So if you want to be named after the copy room, that's fine. Todd. The Todd Long as something's made The Todd Hell Memorial Copy Room. It's supposed to be kind of like if you come in for an appointment before you go upstairs, you're waiting for somebody that's like the waiting lounge for customers coming in. That's the classroom of the kids. We're going to be studying here. So this will be the full desk. It's going to be going to multiple seats and stuff. The podium up front where Mr. Rose will do his thing. It won't be lit red, obviously. Uh, upstairs where the virtual presence device will be, where you can vote in for training. Nice. Which will be cool. Um, and there will be a smart board where that whiteboard is now. It's just kind of a temporary. It looks ugly having an outlet with nothing sure. there. Sure. But it's like an 80 inch fully interactive touch display up there. This will be, I think, all of the tools from the painting contest at SEMA are going to be along this wall here. It's going to have, you know, fridge, water, and so it's self-contained. If we bring somebody in for training, we can feed them, we can keep them hydrated, we can keep them entertained. We've got practical space, we've got didactic space, basically, you know, so it's the true training. Break room, double fridge, whole nine, we're about to hire a whole lot of manufacturing units, so. So here's our manufacturing space. How many square feet is this? Uh, the total building is just under 40, so I don't know what the division of all of it is, but a lot. So this is where everything will be built. This is, this is what I need in my life. To fit like two cars in here. <laughs> no cash door names. Exactly. <laughs> You can just drive in circles. So that room back there is where they have a 60 horsepower screw Kaser compressor. And then that's what feeds all of the, it looks like, it might be three inch lines. So it feeds the three inch lines and then they have air drops all yeah. over the place. It's like one inch drops. It's an interesting track system. <laughs> and I live master professional. <laughs> and then this is the training room where Jason Rose is going to do his thing. These doors are awesome. I want these doors. They have a. They're roll up doors, but they have.
have a really fancy track. And so the door stays in the track, seals off, and then it seals just right on the base floor so you don't have to worry about riding or driving over a track. I've seen these before. That's cool. I want these doors. So that's the dedicated wash bay, French drain, the floors look great, polished concrete is awesome, it just doesn't, doesn't hold up generally as well, but I'm sure they'll be able to come in and polish it off, and so this is where they're going to have tanks to have uh, probably like APC, and then they'll have the I'm guessing the pressure washer is going to go here, but it's going to be, you know, commercial. Boom poles going up there, like I said earlier. And then they have a curtain that comes across. So nice. Dylan didn't know what these walls were made out of, but some sort of... So check this out. Adam's, Adam's gonna usher us around the Adam's facility, which is right next door to Rupa's. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle Martin. What's up, brother? The man. Oh, there are your bicycles. I remember. Yep. Oh, yeah, the bicycles for sure. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so this used to be our cool showroom, and our this was our video area. We had all these cool lights that they used to hang down real low, and this was all floored, and this was all vintage signs he had, it was kind of cool god i remember no it was cool like empty all. when we saw it <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you had like one line yeah. down over there we had indoor parking for all of our employees i remember yeah. you parking indoor here. parking right yeah. i remember that so what you're yeah. saying is that dream only lasts so long oh, if, if you're successful Squashed. right that's amazing yeah, well, congratulations working under do this is one of our we do we do some uh private labeling for some cool companies and this these guys run truck stops and uh oh. and sort of the fuel stations throughout australia and new zealand so this is this was like a specific little retail display that that's the one that is now available through GM dealers so nice. retail shipping comes through here wow. and uh, each one of these things gets loaded from the back they're all on these sort of roller deals so we roll roll mm -hmm. roll and then hopefully we fill eight or ten pallets here of orders and then they fill that that FedEx trailer so that they, they come and swap the trailer out with a new nice. trailer okay. at like eight o'clock or something at night so how did you fumble through this like in this start in like your living room like packaging and shipping stuff I mean <laughs> my first you know what I lived I just I I couldn't afford an apartment or a warehouse so I rented a 1,000 square foot place on the railroad tracks in Redondo Beach right. and uh, and I lived in it for the first three years and it was 1,000 square feet but it had a, a, a gated in yard in Redondo Beach, you can pretty much be year round outside. So, we right. have all the filling outside. I'll, I'll show you the pictures. Yeah. That's awesome. But anyway, so this is so these are our shipping stations. We have one on the back here, two, three, four, five is the auxiliary. And then I'll show you the, the two other ship stations for wholesale wow. on the other side. So, this is the. Uh, are you having fun? Oh, man. We're, you know what's funny? We're, we're in a pretty stressful growth period. Yeah. So, it's really humbling. Like, we screw up a lot. You know, we make some decisions and we're like, yeah. that was a terrible day. Cool. It seems like you don't yeah. beat yourself up. I mean, you gotta keep rolling, I'm right? humble. I'm Christian. I, I know that I'm not gonna be perfect. Um, so you know, obviously, labels of all kinds. These are two bagging machines. So there's how we package. You know, you yeah. know, we'll, we'll package stuff like this, and then we'll figure out we should have put cardboard. You know, oh. put a cardboard thing in there to make it look cool and kind of not so <laughs> floppy. Because then you pick them up in the in the bag, and the things fall down to the bottom of the bag. So uh, aren't this is all part of the? Aren't there companies that like do this or teach you how to? You just figure it out on your own. I mean, yeah, how? Do, kind of like that. Kind of a. Yeah. You, our customers kind of know that we'll screw things up a little bit and then make it okay. And yeah. And and we make sure. And funny enough, it's crazy. We screw up just often enough to interact with customers enough for them to get a good experience with us. They're like, you screwed up. Oh. But you made it right. I'll keep buying from you. Yeah, you know what I mean? With you. Yeah. Like that. See, that's well, yeah. that's exactly what I am always saying. Yeah. 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 If you it. screw up and you make <laughs> it right, you get yeah. like you're almost better off you than if you didn't screw up. Yeah. So oh, down here, this is oh, how we fill funny. the thick stuff. We like to fill with the okay. inline. The inline seems to be less sloppy, but it's not totally unsloppy. You know, you see the trays down there. But, yeah. Um, oh, cool. the, the inline, we will we'll throw an inline. Um, so right now we have cleaner. 
so that now we're running cleaner. Listen, so we're cleaning came, the, the, the. You had the, people manually pour it Always in. come here. We still huh? need. Absolutely. You didn't have this kind of equipment. Oh, no. Good well, for you. Uh, wow, check this out. Uh -huh. These are kind of cool. These little automated fillers. Uh -huh. And uh, so this, this thing is actually, you just take a tote and, and, and you t suck right off the tote. With this guy, uh -huh. and this thing is like a plunger like toilet. Okay. Fills up, uh. and, you, and you put a bottle underneath it, and it just, and it just fills up, and it's a really oh, uh, cool effective. Yeah, and it's just, you know, some genius came up with yeah, it, and figured brilliant. it out. I was like, that's, that's genius. Yeah, that's this great. is this is this, this are my top two employees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is uh, Luca. That's awesome. Yeah, so you see how it fills? Congratulations. This is Enzo. Our four-year-old, he's got it down pretty yeah. good too. So it has a float mm -hmm. on the back and a float on each spigot. Yep. And then it, and, and there's Patty, and uh -huh. she's in there, and she's like looking at the line, going, "Hey, <laughs> good line, you know? You like your, your, you got to set him there just right to have the the yeah. fill level be consistent." Right. That's so fun. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 he's hilarious. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> anyway, he's he's fun. So that's the uh, that little system looks pretty good. Cool. So again, all the different things. Everything goes from pouring and filling into this is inventory. Yeah. And the inventory is pulled from the back of that into uh, oh. retail shipping. Okay. And then if, if someone buys, like uh, some dealer buys a pallet or something, we'll just kind of scoop the pallet out from here and over to the wholesale side. And I'll show you. But how do you manage all that inventory? Like, oh, you... very manually and inefficiently. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> manually and inefficiently. So we said, look at. We still do some of this. Doesn't that look beautiful? Huh. Look at that little glorious, gloriousness right there. Correction compound. Yeah. That's our heavy correction compound right there. Yeah. So this stuff is so thick that it, um, it's just got just enough abrasive that it just wants to destroy any pump that it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, okay, what do you want to do? Small run. These are the very first label machines we ever did, and very cool. They, um, you know, we put the, the mini labels, the big labels, but yeah. this is the. The manual rolling style. Is this what your so place looks like, Jeremy? Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> Is it this no, big not yet? Really. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> and I got him spread too thin too. Yeah, every every day the company spread it. It's just way too thin, really. And that's that's the that's the reality. Everyone's just. Everyone's I guess just if you're skinny. working late on a Sunday mm -hmm. night. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been here all day, so it's. Uh, we do we do some stuff that that's is. That's fun. <laughs> so our marketing team, Matt and Courtney, they're awesome, and they come up with seasonal stuff because yeah. smells and colors for us are Big you know deal. we're heavy into retail direct into retail deal we're just now coming out um with a pro line which is less on the yeah, this, is, colors. Club. There you go. Uh, this awesome. is more of a okay yeah. we're not we're not sticking too serious to the loopy this is more industrial um, i love this uh, the satin no, we don't we don't make anything smell bad yeah it's okay so anyway so we, we're testing stuff back here so kyle and i if i can be back here Eight hours a day, that's a good day. If I have to be managing people or in the middle of the of the day-to-day -day operations, that's a little rougher for me. Yeah, he's better back there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I have, I have some business partners and I've taken yeah. on, you know, some advice from people that are really just super successful and really established. And um, do what you do best. Yeah, and you know, it's not managing people. Like so we have a couple of big customers that'll buy a container load at a time. So then we gotta start we gotta we're trying to get this is an organization for us. This Right here is seriously organized. Palette number three, <laughs> the, the interior, the, the, the contents by mm -hmm. size and, the, and translated to milliliters. So this is going somewhere international. Mm -hmm. that, that's the, oh my gosh, it sucks so bad to be disorganized that we got to read it. Yeah, but this is so much better. You show the real, you know, oh, yeah. real, you know. This is real. Wholesale all comes through here and uh, anything that's packaged for bulk, for pallets, or for for, re for, de for uh, dealer. That's a paper feeder. So this little guy here, so I can find a pedal. Um, <clears throat> so this little guy here crumples the paper up and gives it so that you can fill the box real quick. Um, oh! <laughs> that's how, that's how it you happens. Just, you know, you'll, you'll put a thing right here and that's how you just fill the box up. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are killer. These, and they're free. So this is free. It's you buy the, like the you, razor mentality. You buy the they'll paper. They'll give you the razor arm for free, and right. they'll sell you the blades. Right. Because the paper is just—it's a fill pack paper. It's—it's it's, you know what? It really works good. It feels good. There's a new one that that crumples the paper harder, which for super liquids, I'm sure you know, and yeah. I'm sure you know, it's such a bummer when you have damage. Right. Yeah. So we got to make sure that we have pretty. Do you guys are using peanuts. You use that paper. Oh no, I hate peanuts. I just hate peanuts. It's a mess. I'm a guy that hates peanuts. Yeah. I, I do too, but it seems huh. like it's the most absorbent to like impact. This is better. Where you look are, you. look out for Kent Landsberg. 
and have them set you up with a fill pack I machine. Yeah, absolutely. Just email me and I'll send you the, I'll send you a direct link to the part numbers and everything. Because we do peanuts. Yeah. Because everything's still well, ninety percent everything's USPS. Yeah. Priority mail. Yep. So we'll use those large so flatmates and then we'll peanut in them. But it's okay. So this looks like about uh, probably about a thirty. So let's do this. I'll put this up here. I'll not screw up my coffee. But yeah, so you just go okay. Um, that gives you a 30 inch. It licks it, slab, yeah. Licks it, boom. Nice. It's faster. It really saves time. These mm -hmm. are these best pack 555Es. They're so killer. And you know what? You buy them used, refurbished from this one dude in New York huh. for 900 bucks, and they're new. They're like two grand or 1600 yeah. bucks, something like that. But they're great. We beat them, and they just keep going. They're great. Just fill it up with water, yeah, and but I mean, it's just such. And this is so that's all your tape. You're not. You're, you're not. No, this stuff reinforced. Yeah. You can stand on it. It's so strong. It's way stronger than, than plastic tape. But where are you buying the same thing? The tape. We, we buy it also from Landsberg. They make it custom this for here? us. Um, um, Landsberg, the guy that's going to sell you this this paper, <laughs> is throwing no one on top of the old. Each one of these is one pack of paper. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll be happy to show you exactly how it, it makes it. When you're shipping liquids, that the the strength of this reinforced tape, there's string in that tape. Yeah. It's really, if you just be. So the, what I was telling you about that dirt shiny stuff, what was I telling you? I was telling you, I said, you know, the first stuff I ever started what? selling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you know, this is the dirt shiny stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, that and that was the beginning of it. And that was, this is all I ever yeah, sold. Yeah. In fact, here you go. Yeah, all here is day one. Yeah. That's day one of our company selling. Uh, this is a paint cloth from Home right? Depot. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's a borrowed table, <laughs> a borrowed tent, yeah, no, a borrowed good. pickup. <laughs> this is the guy that owned their shiny yeah, stuff, totally. Dur Dave. Had a lot of good times. And then, um, so that's been good, but. um and so you weren't even relabeling, you were just selling know. it as is? Oh yeah. 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 Look, Look, and then this was, this was like two months later, I started taking the Dur shiny stuff uh -huh. and then and the Dur shiny stuff protectants and stuff and I put them in buckets and started packaging them so that people could get the right applicator, the right towel to wipe it off so that you had like, because they were, they were just this. Yeah. No wash pad, no drying towel, no applicator. So then we started doing this and then I take um, I take and take pictures of cars that, so I was always detailing, you know, mm -hmm. detailed all week. So detailed all these cars. It was right about then that we got the business for um, for fleet detailing, and fleet detailing is what I did all through high school, and it was always limousine fleets in Lake Forest, Irvine, because I was I grew up in San Juan Capistrano, and then we got the accounts detail for Coca Cola, and Coca Cola was when it really, that's when I was using their stuff. It set it off, yeah, because then we were. Mm -hmm. I listened to the interview you do with Jimbo. Oh yeah, and I was Jimbo's like, a good fine. guy. I heard the whole. Yeah, through the wind. Oh, cool. I like the this is our. We did. Uh, we did all slide cars for a long cool time. <laughs> that was fun. Sly. Sly would walk around, smoke a giant joint around his place. He's just the coolest cat. Just a super mellow, good dude. And uh, he would. He's just a super mellow guy. Oh. And uh, yeah, then we started selling these kits in the clear buckets. And this is the very first. This was the first stuff we ever tried to formulate. This was because. And this is, you know, custom packaging, box tape, and uh, <laughs> printer paper, you know? Custom packaging. This was because code trucks don't miss a curb. Every curb they pull up to, they just they scrub it. it and rub it so that there's like, there's no way for a tire to hold a shine from a code truck. There's like, they're just, they turn into like sandpaper. So this was like 80% like silicone. And we would spray that on the tires and we turn them black. And they're like, oh, okay, that was up. The next one was called a scratch out. Here it is. Scratch out. That was the next one. We, we upgraded to uh, this is an Avery label. So uh -huh. you know, we printed them all in our, in our in my inkjet printer. And um, why don't you print directly on bottles? Is there a disadvantage to that? I think it's cool. I think some people are doing it. it makes it makes it really cool. It's hard to get multicolors. Yeah. Colors. Uh, lots of different colors on the label. But um, anyways, so you'll see here all the all the different variations and things that we went through label wise, and you know the very beginning of our GM stuff. And here's the most recent of the GM stuff and a very very old slightly separating tire shine. But all the GM products are kind of a kind of an interesting take. We did an infomercial with JB Fox. Fox Sports and JB, mm -hmm. we got life size poster of JB wearing out of shirt. We did a, we did a full thing. He gave me his, you know, signed a full football there from JB. And we sold these detail kits on TV. And we were trying to be this company Clorox tried to buy us in 06 and 07. Mm -hmm. 
they were training up against McGuire's. And they, they were, if, if we can be a $100 million potential, they wanted to buy us. So they tested us for a year, spent many more dollars than they could have bought us for. <laughs> dollars a year maybe in sales talks yeah. <laughs> and then they test they spent many times that and looking at us and they're like yeah okay we're gonna do it and last minute the CEO has a heart attack resigns goes and says, I'm gonna have my kids wow new CEO comes from Coca-Cola scraps all there was 13 cook companies in the cooker that they wanted to buy and they said no all that and they said Burt's Bees they bought Burt's Bees instead wow and I was like when was that that was 2005, 2006. Okay. 2006, 2007, right? right trying to think of when I started using, it's around then. Yeah. yeah. This is all the, uh, when I was down in Australia, there was a kind of an interesting time. I went down to Australia for Christmas break and went down there and uh, got got the message from, from college that I had been kicked out for bad grades. So I just stayed in Australia. So this is the, the little quality auto detailing. You know the, the my Australian cell number there. Just stayed stayed down in Australia and had a, an 80 cc Riva scooter and put a bucket between my feet on the on the ground and backpack with those little Mighty Max, those little vacuums. Yeah. So I had a Mighty Max in my vacuum and I, these were all the customers that I had there. And this guy, Ray from Print and Run, I was writing little ta I was writing out American on vacation. We'll, we'll detail your car, all satisfaction guarantee. I was writing these out all night. In the daytime, I'd go out and put them on the wipers of cars that I thought would be good customers. And I put them on this guy's Toyota Celica. And he calls me, he goes, hey, if you detail my wife's Previa van and my Celica, I'll print you business cards. So he printed me all these business cards. <laughs> and then his kid ended up working for me. Anyway, that was interesting. It's a good run. Good run that uh, Australia, that was fun. But you see this, our showroom is terrible now because we don't have room. We used to have a big, nice showroom in the house. Yeah, temporarily. So the, the history of car care um, in general, all these, you know, all this cool stuff, 70s and all this great stuff. But this bottle right here is kind of a dated 1927. Wow, man. Everything was, everything was called Povar. This, everything was uh, furniture and cars. You know, there was no oh. car polish because mm -hmm. there was hardly any cars. Yeah. So everything they marketed was that. But isn't that crazy? New old stock that made it through the... Yeah. God, it's still in there. That's 90, cool. 90 years. That's yeah. a beautiful shape. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's all this crazy, all this crazy old wax. I love this. Uh, Super cool. The old stuff is cool. Got some... And then, you know, some McGuire, some turtle wax, and, uh, you know, all the, all the greats. Got some cool... People are like, why would you have McGuire's? Matt, what do you think? Does it, it piss you off that we have McGuire's no. old stuff? I don't think it's cool. The mint, the mint thing started... I was at an Italian restaurant and they had these mints that You had, do like Italian, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm Italian. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Sono proprio fatto bene. <laughs> uh, I'm a goomba. So I, and I, of course, went to Italy and for a semester and stayed for nine months and okay. <laughs> learned how to speak Italian. Even um, I'm sort of Italian, you know. I'm, my dad's Italian, his whole family, my mom's all white. But uh, anyway, I went to this Italian restaurant and they had these these mints and it said made in the USA on the mint. That's all it said, made in the USA. And it, it was an American flag, both sides. I'm like, I love that. I love that that's just, you know, there's a bowl of them on the way out the door. Just kind of like all most Italian restaurants, but most of them are, are like, you pick them up out of the thing and they're, yeah. they're not wrapped. Well, these are wrapped. And I was like, that's a killer, that's a killer idea. So we started putting, Matt just started working for us. This was about 25 years ago. Matt was... No, this was uh, 2010, 11? Probably, yeah, around that time. 2010 or 11. Um, we, started, we started putting mints in the boxes. So we put, we, we put a couple <laughs> of mints in every, every, every time you get a box mm -hmm. from us, you got a couple of mints in the box. What fun is that? Yeah. Wow. And, and if we don't, we get called out. It's also become very expensive. I know with the guys <laughs> once a week for shipping, they throw two in. I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, we really? went from ten grand a month to twenty grand a month in mints. You know, yeah, every yeah. time you guys make that decision, so yeah. that's expensive. Right? <laughs> oh, it gets expensive for sure. But I it's, think it's, it's still cool. cool. I think it's way really cool. It. So what happens when the when the force pulls you back? Your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor. Foot to the floor. Foot to the floor.